So thank you everybody for joining. Uh, my name is Scott. I am an admissions counselor here at Suffolk University in Boston and I am actually currently an MBA student as well. Um, so next slide please. So that is me. Um, as you can see, I handle a portfolio of programs, mostly in the political science realm. Um, I have two regions that I have in my portfolio. I focus on China and Africa. And I've been with Suffolk for two years, and I love helping international students. We have a lot of them, um, and it's the favorite part of my job. So please use me as a resource. I'm here to help you. Um, and yeah, let's keep going. So next slide, please. I also apologize if I talk a little fast. We talk pretty fast here in the Northeast, uh, so I will try and slow down. So a little bit about Suffolk. We've been around since 1906. We are right in the middle of Boston. Um, we have, we're have we fairly small, so we have around 7,000 undergrad and graduate students, um, around 1,200 graduate students and about 25% international, um, with the majority of those students coming from China, number one, and India, number two. Um, so you will not be alone if you, if you choose to attend. Um, in terms of our faculty, we have a very international faculty as well, with over 50% of our business school faculty being international, um, many of those also from China um, and, and India as well. Uh, but also several from, from Europe, from Germany, uh, South America as well. So we really try and keep a global focus on our education. And next slide, please. So in terms of accreditation, um, we are fully accredited by um, several accreditation bodies. The big ones that the federal government um, institutes, um, we're fully in line with those. But I always... I like to highlight the AACSB accreditation. That is um, an international accreditation that not every business school has. It's actually fairly competitive. Um, so that is one to keep an eye out. And also if you're interested in taxation um, and accounting, we have uh, additional supplemental global accreditation from AACSB, which um, is even more so um, competitive and tough to get. We're the only school in Boston with this distinction. So if you're interested in that realm, we're very good. Um, we're a very good option. And in terms of rankings, um, U.S. News and World, number 31 regional universities in the North, uh, Wall Street Journal, top U.S. colleges. We really, um, as you can see, you can see 2017 edition of the best 381 colleges. We had a classification change um, last year, so that is why we sort of dropped out, but we will be back. Um, it has to do with the back end of accreditation and the structuring of some of our programs. Um, but I'm happy to answer additional questions on any of that info as well. Um, so next slide, please. So I just wanted to give you an idea as to where Boston actually is. Uh, in case you didn't know, I don't, didn't want to be American centric and just assume that you know where every, everything is. Uh, so we're here in the Northeast and we'll zoom in a little bit. So next slide. So you can see um, very close to, it's about a three hour without traffic drive to uh, New York City. So you're very close. This is a very, um, and then an additional hour or so to Washington, D.C. So the Northeast is a, is a big region for business, for politics. Um, and really, that's where you want to be. You want to be in the midst of all of this action um, in grad school. You don't want to be, you know, out in the suburbs, sort of insulated um, on your campus. You want to be involved in the community, working with uh, business partners and community actors. <clears throat> and next slide, please. So here's is Boston uh, as we zoom in once more. So this is actually the downtown area of Boston and every uh, little yellow sort of drop, that is one of our buildings. Um, so you can see, and it's sort of tough to see, I got to change that color, but the financial district is a 10 minute walk from our campus, government center and Beacon Hill, two of the big uh, institutions for government in Boston. We are sandwiched in between. And um, 
Boston Common is essentially our quad. Um, we're woven into the fabric of the city and, um, and we try and leverage those, our location for students. So next slide, please. So how do we do this? Um, how do we leverage our location? Our pedagogy is, it emphasizes experiential learning. We have you do many flash consultancy projects. You do internships and practicums with big firms in the city. Um, so that's why I encourage students to be in the middle of a city. That's where these firms are that you work with, that you build a network with, that your faculty have a network with as well. Um, and we're also global in scope. So as I mentioned, many of our faculty are international. Um, we have an internationally rooted curriculum. That's how we are AACSB accredited. Thank you, three minutes. Um, and we're outcome based. We are not a big university. We don't just simply hand you a degree and send you on your way. Um, we want to help you reach what your goals are, both career wise, academically. Um, so we have a lot of resources and it's very student focused and robust career services. Being in the middle of the city, we have a big network um, and an active alumni base. So that's great for students. Next slide, please. So Boston's business cluster, um, Boston, one thing I've learned throughout my MBA is we have an excellent business cluster, um, specifically also politics, but our business sector is great with the big hubs being technology, finance and healthcare. And looking at the synergy between a couple of those, you have biotech and financial technology. We have, I think it's 600 startups um, within a mile of our campus. So entrepreneurship is a big program with us as well. And next slide. So we have a lot of programs. Um, the MBA, of course, being the big one, um, but we also have a lot of uh, social science programs. We have made our mark as a school that emphasizes um, law, social sciences, and business. So there's a small sampling, and next slide, please. Uh, so these are the MBA dual degree options, and um, we have multiple, but these are just the MBA ones. I like to mention these because they are STEM designated and they only add a semester of full-time study uh, to your to your plan of study and allow for the extra two years of OPT. Uh, next slide, please. So the MBA, uh, briefly, 14 to 20 courses. Many students can finish it in a calendar year. Um, we have 16 different concentrations, financial technology, global marketing, business intelligence um, is actually a concentration that is STEM designated in the MBA. So that is an option as well. Next slide. <clears throat> and we also have a travel seminar as part of the MBA. So keeping with that global focus, you go over with 15 of your peers and two faculty members. You go to London, Germany, Las Vegas, depending on your interests. And uh, you do flash consultancies with real firms like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, um, really big multinationals uh, for about a week. And it's paid for with tuition um, and students rave about them. Next slide, please. All right, so financial aid, yes. What is the cost? How do we help you attend? Um, so we have competitive merit aid awards. Um, international students are treated the same as domestic. You do not have to apply for merit aid in your admission letter. Should you be admitted, you receive your aid package. Um, it's nice and spelled out for you so that you can make an informed decision. Um, if you need additional aid, you can apply for it. Um, but we like to just hand it to you so that you can make the decision based on that and go from there. Um, and next slide, please. So yeah, Boston is our campus. Boston has a lot to offer. Um, and we, again, we leverage that for us um, or for you rather. So I will um, wrap it up now. I'm probably closing out my time. So we can open it up to the Q&A. If you wanna go to the next slide, I think it has my contact info. Yes. Okay. Okay, so thanks for your presentation and thanks for your introduction of the university and the programs. And the next part, uh, we're going to have some questions collected from the students. 
And by the meantime, every student here, if you have any questions for Suffolk University, you can type them in the message box. So the first question uh, goes to what gives schools uh, in an urban setting an uh, advantage? Yes, so schools in the middle of cities, it doesn't have to be Boston, but just look at big major cities. They have those firms that allow you to, to get experiential opportunities. So internships, practicums, if you're in the middle of nowhere, it'll be tougher to have really rich experiences that way and make strong connections to firms um, that have a global presence. So thinking about Boston, we have the big four accountancy firms all have major offices in Boston. It's really tough to get that type of exposure if you're in the middle of Pennsylvania, um, for example. So it's all about sort of location and leveraging it for students. <clears throat> Okay, thanks for your answer. And now I'm going to have a very brief uh, translation for the students. Uh,那么我们这个因为萨福学校这个城市是在波士顿，然后波士顿呢会给学生们提供大量的工作的机会，因为波士顿有很多的公司，学生可以在波士顿获得大量的实习，不管是实习还是全职的工作机会。这样会